This is the story of Birthday in Bethlehem. I want to tell you, my son, one of the most beautiful stories in the world. Long, long ago, in a faraway country, there lived a beautiful girl named Mary. Everybody loved her. You would have loved her too if you had known her. And God loved her. One day when she was all alone, a bright light shone around her and she heard wonderful music that seemed to come right out of heaven. Then she knew she was going to be very happy. She was going to have a baby son. Her husband was a kind man who was a carpenter. When it was nearly time for the baby to be born, she and Joseph made a journey to a place called Bethlehem. When they arrived there, they found all the inns were full, so they went to a stable to sleep. In this stable, the child was born. Mary and Joseph made a bed of hay for him in the manger. And with the moon and the stars looking down on them, they named him Jesus. They were the first to love him, but many have loved him since. Right. 
People in Bethlehem were very busy, so they did not pay much attention to the baby Jesus. But outside Bethlehem, strange things happened. In another country, three wise men were watching the skies at night when they saw a strange star appear. They said, this means a new king is born. Let us go and find him. So they followed the star, and it led them to where little Jesus lay sleeping. In fields near Bethlehem, some shepherds were watching their sheep under the dark night skies, when suddenly the heavens were full of light and the shepherds heard a choir of angels singing. At first they were afraid, but the angels told them not to be frightened, but to go into Bethlehem to see the newborn baby who had come from heaven to bring peace to the world. So the wise men and the shepherds came to Bethlehem, and all the hills and the valleys, all the trees and flowers, seemed to them to be happy and full of song because Jesus was born. Let the little lamp rejoice, let the nature find a voice, let the lark sing carols voice. Oh, oh, oh. 
Now the man who kept the inn at Bethlehem and the guests who were staying there did not know the wonder of the child who had been born in the stable. They must have been surprised when the shepherds came hurrying down the street to see him. They must have been still more amazed when they saw the three wise men on their camels stopping to ask about the baby. The shepherds knelt before Jesus because the angels had told them he was a heavenly child. The wise men brought him gifts of gold and spices because they had read in the stars that he was a king. The shepherds and the wise men told Mary and Joseph about the wonderful things they had heard and seen. Mary listened and hid all these things in her heart. She knew better than all the others the beauty that was in the child. She held him in her arms. He was her son. The others worshipped him, but she loved him, and Jesus was more to her than a king. After a little while, Mary and Joseph went back to the city in the hills where they had their home. It was called Nazareth. Jesus grew up there. He learned many things while helping Mary in the house and Joseph in the carpenter shop. He liked people and helped everybody he could. He became such a good man that even today, nearly 2,000 years after he was born, we are happy when we think about him. 
We are so happy that we celebrate his birthday every year at Christmas. And on that day, we want everybody else to be happy too. We make Christmas a friendly day. It's too bad we are not as kind on all other days of the year. But it's good to be kind one day for Jesus' sake. We remember at Christmas time that Jesus said, we are all children of one Father, God, and all brothers and sisters. We act like one big family, remembering that Jesus was everybody's friend. And we give each other presents because God gave us Jesus on this day. Christmas is a festival of love. So naturally, we celebrate it most where love is deepest, in the home. Mary, Joseph, and Jesus were a family. We call them the Holy Family. All families are holy, for wherever love is, there is holiness. Across the years, when people have remembered how Jesus was born, they have thought of when they were babies. And so Christmas has become a time when mothers and fathers welcome their children home. All who have ever heard his story see his face in every newborn babe. All babies seem more beautiful because he was a baby once. You, my little one, are to me the miracle of Bethlehem once more. The stars shine over you, and angels sing your lullaby. Men call Jesus the Son of God, which only means that he is our big brother. He is strong as he is gentle. Sleep soundly in his care. It will be his birthday soon, and you will wake on Christmas morning. Until the morning, sleep, little brother. Sleep. Till the all 
tranquility. Near Bethlehem, where he did go, No room. 